So we're going to now to compute the sample size using the lens of the interval. So given this is the table of the confidence level and the coefficient, confidence coefficient. So we're going to solve for the sample size, which is the n. Um, this is connected with the previous video for the previous lesson. Number one, this is the, the problem. A Hume's student is conducting a research on the awareness of the senior high school learners on the names of the Philippine president. Given a margin of error of 4 with a standard deviation of 9 having a 90% confidence level, what should be the minimum sample size that the student researchers need to estimate the population mean? So in, in this question, we are asking for the um, appropriate sample size. So the minimum sample size in order for us to get this particular majority, to get the margin of error of 4 and the confidence level 90% and the standard deviation of 9. So we're looking for n. So n is what we're looking for. So n. So first thing we need to do is, con is identify the given. So the margin of error is 4. Next is the standard deviation of 9. So the standard deviation is 9. The 90% is the confidence level. The confidence level is 90%. 90% confidence level. So based on our table, that if it is 90%, so the Z, the confidence coefficient is 1.645. So 1.645. So um, now we need the formula. The formula for E, we're going to use the formula for E, for us to get the formula for the sample size. So if you could, um, you could substitute directly from here, or you, you could simply use the, uh, um, you could use for N, you solve for N first in terms of the other variable. So we could start by substituting first let us have substituting first. And the second example we're going to use for the formula of n. So the e is equal to 4. The z is equal to 1.645 alpha. No, alpha. That's not alpha. But the standard deviation is 9. So it's square root of n. So what we're going to do is divide first both sides by 1.645 so or divide both sides by 1.645 9 square root of n divide 1.645 1.645 sorry so cancel that so what's left is this one so 4 divide 1.645 that's 22.432, which is equal to 9 square root of n. So cross multiply, so 2.432 cross multiply square root of n is equal to 9. Now divide both sides by 2.432, 2.432, so 9 divide by it's square root of n so cancel this out is equal to 3.70125 squared so that we could cancel the square root n is equal to 13.70 let's check if our answer is correct so for him to be able to have the margin of error of 4 and a confidence level of 90% and the standard deviation of 9, so the minimum sample size that he needs is or the number of um, buyer, is it the buyer? No, is the number of students is 13.70 or approximately 14. So 14, he needs 14 learners. So for number two, problem number two, an environmentalist is making a survey on the number of households that applies for applies the principle of waste management in a certain community. Given the standard deviation of 2.6, 
how a large how large a sample must be selected if you want to be 95% confident of finding whether the true mean differs from the sample mean by 1.5 hour. So our given in here are the standard deviation of 2.6. The samples the confidence pers uh, the confidence is 95. The confidence level is 95%. So based on the table, the Z if it's 95, the Z is 1.96. So Z coefficient. Next is the E, which is equal to 1.5. So now we're going to use for the formula in here. The formula for N is equal to N is equal to i use this one so that you would not find it very difficult to memorize again the formula but for this one this is the formula from this formula which is so the z multiplied by the standard deviation divided by n so that's how easy it is actually. 1.96 times 2.6, standard deviation is 2.6, the z is 1.96 divided by 1.5. So it's easier actually, but it's um, 1.96 times 2.6 divided by 1.5. It's 3.937. So that's only 3.937. So that's small. Sorry, the formula should be squared. squared. Why squared? Because there's a square to my so we need to square that. I I did not copy it. So squared, the answer should be squared. That's 11.54. 11.54, which means that um the number of household should be 11.54 or approximately equal to 12 households. So that's how you're going to find for the sample size using the lens of the interval. I'm sorry for some mistakes. And that's also to how to solve problem involving the confidence interval.